Savitri, page 146. So must the dim being grow in light and force and raise to its higher destiny at last. Look up to God and round at the universe and learn by failure and progress by fall and battle with the environment and doom. By suffering, discover his deep soul and by possession, grow to his own vase. Halfway she stopped and found her path no more. Still nothing was achieved but to begin. Yet finished seemed the circle of her force. Only she had beaten out sparks of ignorance. Only the life could think and not the mind. Only the sense could feel and not the soul. Only was lit some heat of the flame of life. Some joy to be some rapturous leaps of sense, all was an impetus of half-conscious force. A spirit sprawling drowned in dense life form, a vague self grasping at the shape of things, behind all moved, seeking for vessels to hold, a first raw vintage of the grapes of God. On earth's mud, the spilt of the supernal bliss, intoxicating the stupefied soul and mind. A heady wine of rapture, dark and crude, dim and cast, yet into spiritual form, obscure inhabitant of the world's blind core, an unborn Godhead's will, a mute desire. A third creation now revealed its face. A mould of body's early mind was made. A glint of light kindled the obscure world force. It devoured a driven world with the seeing idea and armed the act with thought's dynamic point. A small thinking being watched the works of time, a difficult evolution from below, called a masked intervention from above. Yells this great, blind, inconscient universe could never have disclosed its hidden mind, or even in blinkers worked in beast and man, the intelligent that devised the cosmic scheme.